Right, we're on. Today we're going to talk about a golf tip or a little bit of advice I was given by a golf professional back in the day that pretty much changed the way I viewed golf altogether. It was, um, how would you describe it? Maybe even a bit of golf advice or a golf tip that changed my life. It completely changed the way I look at the game when we're playing the golf course. Not so much when practice, but when actually playing the golf course. So today I'm going to share that with you. A golf swing tip. It might just change your life. So this piece of advice was given to me by a golf professional called Jimmy Hume. Jimmy used to be the golf professional at Gullen Golf Club in Scotland, where we host the Scottish Open now, or have done in the past. And Jimmy was a character. Very, very good golfer, very, very good coach. And this piece of advice he gave me as a junior golfer, it really opened up my eyes as to how to play a golf course. When practicing to how do you take that onto the golf course, that was the tricky bit. But this little bit of advice, it really, it allowed me to play the game. So first tee, par five. We're going to do this all the way up this hole to give you a feeling or an understanding of how this is going to work. So I've got driver. Driver, I'm trying to keep some spine tilt. I want to make sure I'm behind the golf ball impact. Behind the golf ball impact. My head, the mass of my body is behind that golf ball. At impact. Technical side behind the golf ball impact. Now I'm going to play the shot. Behind the golf ball impact. There. That's where I want to go, dead aim there. I can see that tree, I can see exactly where I want to go. Dead aim there. We're on. So I've had a reasonable drive there. It's okay, a little bit left of centre, but that's all right. Um, fully focused on the technique of what I was going to do before I played the shot and then on the shot I was looking at where I wanted the golf ball to go. Now we've got the second shot into this par 5. I'm going to take a 6 iron. I can't reach in 2 today. 6 iron. Now I'm playing an iron shot so my thought here is what do I do when I'm playing an iron shot? What technique am I playing? How do I adopt this? What have I been working on in the range? Well I've been working on getting weight to the left hand side. So I put a little bit more weight on the left side. I'm looking back at the golf ball. That's my sensation. That's my feeling through impact. That's what I want to feel. That's what I want to play. So weight left, slightly left. Looking back at the ball through impact as the body opens up. Back at the ball, body opens up. Okay. Okay. So there's a bunker just over the top of that bunker. There's a tree. I can see a, a, a twig on that tree or a branch on that tree. Small target, very small target. Aim for that. Dead aim. There we go, club's exactly in line with that target, dead aim to that target. Bang on it, absolutely pure on it. Tidy. Technique was good, did my homework on that, and then I took dead aim. All good. Right, I've got myself up here into the absolutely perfect spot because I was so precise with my aiming with the second shot there. See how far we've got to go. Let's assess this. 109. 109 yards and a little draft, so I'm going to go soft 50 degrees into this. Okay, so we've got the perfect position. So, working on technique. Jimmy Hume taught me Technique on the golf course is not pointless, very important on the range. 
Technique on the range is vital. That's where you're doing your homework, that's where you're drilling it, that's where you're grinding it all out to try and make sure you hit those positions or age the process. Then you come on the golf course, that has to be transferred over. Now the secret Jimmy told me, or the life-changing, golf life-changing tip that he told me was take dead aim. Do not think about technique when you're actually executing the shot. So in your pre-shot routine when you're taking your practice swing, fully work on that technique. This is what I was trying, this is what I'm trying to do, this is the focus of it, this is the way the body wants to work, this is how I'm trying to strike golf ball. Work on that, work on that, work on that. But then when it comes to the shot, take dead aim and nothing else, because that will transfer in there. Take dead aim and nothing else. Don't think about the swing when you're doing it. You've done the rehearsal, you've told your body this is how it's going to happen. Then when you're actually playing the shot, Take dead aim, be precise with that, as precise as you can possibly be. Can't emphasise that enough. Because we get lazy, we do. You know, it's, it's up there somewhere. I mean, I played the second shot to par five there with six iron. The fairway's 50 yards wide here. I could have hit it anywhere, but I was so precise with that twig of that, that tree to make sure I got up to the right-hand side so I've got the best view to the green. And I nailed it, absolutely nailed it. I had technique I'd worked on, I knew I wanted to keep the weight left, I wanted the body to open up as I looked back at the golf ball. I'd worked on it, worked on it, worked on it, and then I was precise. This is where I want the ball to go. I want to make sure my face is bang on with that. I'm swinging through towards that. I take dead aim, and then from there, I can execute the shot. There's a worm beside my golf ball. Cheers, wee guy. So 109. Again, my weight slightly left. Looking back at the ball, narrower stance this time. Nicely, make sure I get through it. My short irons, I've been accused of coming up short with the follow through, trying to be too punchy. This is how I'm going to play. These are the feelings I'm after. Looking back at the ball, weight left. Good, I've got that. Now, bang on that flag. Take dead aim, be so precise. I can see a spot on my line. My face lined with that. There we go. Dead aim. Now I can visualise that flag. I can see that flag as I look down back at that golf ball. Now I've got that picture in my head. It's so clear. Tiger talked about that as well. It's so clear. I know how I'm going to play it. I just need to know where it's going to go now. I can see that flag fluttering. Dead aim. There we go. I know exactly where I'm going to hit this golf ball. Oof, right there. Perfect. There we go, decent shot. I'm so glad I made this video because it's reminded me or prompted me to take more concentration or be more focused on dead aim. It really has highlighted to me that I, uh, I'm not as tuned into it as I used to be. I looked through my notes last week from when I was a young player and that was something that completely flagged up to me and of course over the years it's kind of gone away but I look back at all the advice I've been given especially from Jimmy as a young boy and that, that was the main thing. It wasn't technique orientated. It was very much how to play the golf course. And because I do so many videos and things nowadays I'm not really playing a golf course so that kind of element's gone. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm 21 feet away from 109 yards. It's all right, a little bit of breeze as you can see. Didn't quite take that into consideration. Can I do it all? <laughs> so again, taking dead aim. Now this, I don't know how these are running first hole of the day. I'm not sure how they're running, but I'm taking, again, I want to take the dead aim approach. So I'm looking at this thinking, you know, this is actually pretty straight. Maybe just left, oof. Actually, do you know what? It's just dead straight. So again, I'm going to do my practice stroke thinking about how I'm going to play this. So when I'm on the practice stroke, I've got a Seymour putter, so my concentration now is to ensure that red dot stays away. So I'm trying to be shoulder orientated. Shoulder orientated, shoulder orientated, shoulder orientated. Now it's dead aim. precisely where I want that putter blade to square up to. It's now in place, dead aim towards that hole.
pushed it. That was technique, but hey, it's fine. So there we go. Simple par, purely from taking dead aim. I made sure I was acute or astute to exactly the target I was after. I wanted to make sure I hit those targets. With no target, it's going to be very, very, very hard to make sure we can play the game. Um, taking the technique onto the golf course is, is a very, very hard thing to do, but when you're playing the shot, as Jimmy says, technique goes. Fully, fully immerse yourself in the technique on the pre-shot routine, on your practice stroke, but when it comes to the shot, you must be, must be fully immersed in the target you're aiming towards. I mean, if you think about Roger Federer or any tennis player, the ball's coming towards them, they're not thinking about technique, they know exactly where the back corner of that court is, and that's where they're going to play the ball too. They don't have to think about, okay, I must do this, I must do that with the forehand, I must make sure I get the, the racket over the top of the ball to make sure the ball comes down with the top spin. That's all natural, they've done that in rehearsal. They can take it on the court, they're purely immersed, fully immersed in where they want the ball to go, the corner of the court. And we need to be more like that in golf. Yes, in the practice swing, of course, don't neglect your technique, work on your technique when you're doing your pre-shot routine. But when it comes to the actual act of playing the shot, take dead aim. Dead aim to your intended target, which is not always the flag. Guys, thanks very much. Please hit that subscribe button, that would really help me. The bell notification button so you get instant notifications of all my videos and of course the thumbs up. I asked for 2,000 thumbs up on my last video or two videos ago. We smashed that. 3,000? 2,500 thumbs up? Do you know, that'd be great. Let's try it. <laughs>